So, work on this red jazz guitar is continuing here, and uh, you may have noticed, well, you didn't really have to notice because I'll just show you. There's a hole on the top horn here with six screw holes around it. And the uh, owner of the guitar has asked me to provide him with a custom made plate for that. So I'm going to make it out of aluminum uh, because it negates the need for copper shielding. It has great conductive properties. So if you don't know much about shielding and electronics, just trust me, aluminum is a good choice for guitar plates. And I'm just going to quickly show you how I'm preparing to make this thing. Um, because if, if anyone were to order from me something along these lines, a, a custom plate or something like that, um, what I would have you do, rather than sending me your instrument, is send me what I'm about to make. So, bring you in closer now and you can see what I'm doing. So what I have here, you can see we've got the hole uh, that we're covering up, the six screw holes in the shape of the horn. So I'm just going to take a regular piece of paper, put it on there and make sure I hold it in place. And then I have a piece of charcoal. Uh, a pencil could also be used for this, preferably a soft pencil, like um, an H, H something, whatever. Soft pencil that's been sharpened quite a bit, so there's a lot of lead sticking out. Anyway, I'm just going to press this down and lightly go over the area to get the shape of it. So you can see that the charcoal has picked up the shape of the hole and the shape of the horn surrounding it. I was kind of hoping to get the screw holes in there too, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have any luck with that. So what I'm going to do is just measure them out. I'll um, yeah, measure them out, mark them on here with a pencil, and then beginning the sh begin drawing the shape of the piece that I want. So what you're looking for is the location of all the necessary holes and the outline of the piece itself approximately so what I'm going to do now scan this and email it to myself which is what I would have anyone do in these circumstances and then I'm going to use this to create a nice smooth vector file so that I can cut this out on a machine and not have it look like it was done by hand obviously and then uh, yeah we'll go from there I'll cut this out get it all drilled properly and uh, countersunk and everything and we're going to paint this black so that it contrasts nicely with I know the guitar is black right now but it's going to be crimson I think it's going to look good when it's done